Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is December the 21st, 2019, and I am coming to you today to give you a warning dream, a danger ahead. And uh, this is to help us all learn to focus on the straight and narrow path, okay? That's what this dream is all about, the straight and narrow path, okay? And how it's easy if you're not paying attention and walking on the straight and narrow path and paying attention to the path. That's the point of this. You have to pay attention to the path, okay? Now, okay, so here's the dream that God gave me to share with all of you and all of the body of Christ, okay? All right, so I was in a uh, my old Honda Civic. I used to have an old Honda Civic some years back. And I had tried to pull up to a university. And the parking was so far away. It was like five football fields away. Okay, and I had to walk all the way up to the, to the university or the college, whatever you want to call it. All right, so here I am walking up to it. I get up to the university. I'm wandering through its halls and uh, through all of its uh, buildings. And as I'm exiting, I'm going to try to get my way back to my car but I couldn't find my way back to my car. So I started asking for directions from people. How do I get back to my car? Okay. And I was directed to go a certain way. So I followed the way that I was directed by this person. And um, so where I ended up going, now it looked, it appeared, it appeared as though I was on the right path because it appeared as it was a narrow path, okay? But what I was walking through was a like a, it was like a forest of tumbleweeds, but it's not like the, the tumbleweeds that you see in the Old West, like with the dried up old, dried up brown tumbleweeds. I, 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 these were green bushes. They were green and bluish color bushes that were shaped like tumbleweeds, but they were all over the ground everywhere. They covered the ground completely, completely. And all you could see, if you look down, all you could see was just a little tiny path. I'm talking about a narrow path. It was no bigger than what your foot is, the width of your foot. Not the length of your foot, but the width of your foot. That's how narrow it was, okay? And I could look around, I'd see a tree over here, and I'd look over in the distance, I'd see another tree, okay? Well, so here I am walking down this path, and I'm thinking, wow, you know, where am I? And this is, uh, what kind of path is this? And, you know, I'm walking down it, I'm walking down it, and I'm minding my own business. I'm trying to be careful, just walk on this path, and um, not really knowing where I am. And then all of a sudden, bam, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, I walk apart. I mean, I literally almost fell down a slippery slope, okay? It was a, it was on the narrow path that I thought was the narrow path, okay? And it, it was a very, oh my gosh, it was still very narrow, but I mean, this thing went straight down like this. And it was slippery. And I said to myself in the dream, oh, there's a slippery slope. If I fall down this, I'm not going to be able to get back out of there. It's too slippery. I'm not going to be able to climb myself up out of there. I'm not going to be able to get out of there. Okay? It was like like, like there was no traction to this, this path. When you started sliding, there was no traction. There's no way to stop yourself. It was a slippery slope. Okay? All right. So <clears throat> that was the end of the dream. And so, wow, can't we just already know what that's about, right? So, you have to stay focused on who you're listening to. Well, you have to stay focused first on, on God and Jesus and Jesus Christ. That's who you have to stay focused on. You have to listen for this still, small voice, okay? Because God's trying to talk to you every day in small, little ways. A lot of people say, I don't hear from God. I don't hear from God. He's trying to talk to you. You just are not listening close enough. You need to shh, be quiet. Make the world be quiet, which means turn off the TV, turn off the radio, come out of the things of the world, 
Get out of the distractions. If you find yourself on YouTube all day long for hours on top of hours, that's a distraction. I don't care if you're watching Christian videos all day long. That's a distraction. That's time that you've taken away from praying and communing, communicating with God. Okay. He says to pray without ceasing. He didn't tell you to watch YouTube without ceasing or to stay in the world without ceasing. We're to separate ourselves from those things. Okay. It's okay to go watch a channel and learn something, but you better make sure hey, you're learning to, to listen to the right people and that they're not steering you wrong and, and teaching you lies like once saved, always saved. Okay. Because that's not true. That's, that's a lie straight from the pits of hell. Satan is trying to grab as many crowns as he can at this last time. And that is the truth of it. Okay. So watch this. When, when you are walking, when you're walking your walk on a straight and narrow path, the Holy Spirit shall guide you into all truth. Okay. You do not go and ask some stranger for directions. You understand me? You don't do it. Because, like in my dream, I was lost. I didn't know how to get back home, get back to my car, right? So I asked a stranger, how do I get back to my car? Well, look what, look, look, look at the direction I was sent into, correct? So let that be a warning to you all that danger look, lurks ahead. Danger is around us, okay? You must make sure you're on the right path. You must let the Holy Spirit guide you. Okay? Please. This time is short. It's our job to go and tell people to follow after Jesus Christ. Let the Holy Spirit, if you have Jesus Christ, you have the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of you. Let him lead you. Let him guide you. Don't go to these channels to get your ears tickled. Don't do it. Don't go out here to a preacher in the church who God has not told you to listen to. The Bible says man is in no need of a teacher. The Holy Spirit shall teach you all that you need to know. It's in the Bible. It says that. I believe it. That's what I listen to. Okay. I used to have this one friend. Well, she's, I still love her. You know what I'm saying? She was always trying to teach me, teach me, teach me all this stuff. And I'm like, no, no. Because something she was saying about people and some things she was doing was wrong. I'm like, no, the Holy Spirit's going to teach me. The Holy Spirit teaches me. The Holy Spirit teaches me. And that's the way I, I try to keep it, okay? I always try to keep it that way. Because why not? Why? Somebody, they could even have well, uh, well intention meaning or intentions or whatever you call it. And they could be, they're co because they think they're walking on the right path, but they're walking wrong and they want you to follow behind them. No, please don't. Please don't, Okay. All I know is that God is good. There's not a lot of time left. And um, so Satan's job is to take your crown or to even stop you from putting one on. You understand what I'm telling you? That's God's, that's Satan's job. And he's very good at it. But guess who's better? Jesus Christ is better at saving us from Satan. We just have to allow him to do it. Okay. How are you going to do that? By walking in obedience behind Jesus Christ, behind his example. He was the perfect example. That's how. Okay? Don't be fooled. Don't let somebody tell you directions to get back home. This is not our home. Our home is up there with him. And you better understand that. Please spread the gospel to Jesus Christ while you can. Don't teach anybody lies. If you're unsure of things yourself, keep your mouth shut. Don't go trying to teach nobody nothing. Okay? Don't. If God didn't ask you to tell somebody something, then keep your mouth shut. Because if you, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know you're walking correctly, how can you lead, what, the blind leading the blind? Okay? Let the Holy Spirit bring you into all truths. Now, a sister, Shauna, from Change is Coming, she, I was talking to her uh, the other day. Or yesterday, as a matter of fact, she corrected me on something, which I'm going to take the correction because she is right. Okay, now, I said the other day that someone who has the Holy Spirit cannot become possessed. Okay, so, this is how it is. The, the truth is it's like this. If 
you're saved, okay? You've got the Holy Spirit dwelling in you, but you backslid or something. Let's just say you went and opened a door for the devil to creep in. You cracked open that door. Let's say you went to, uh, I don't know, watch pornography or you masturbated, okay? Or you went out to the club or you even opened the door by gossiping. Let's say you even opened the door by gossiping. You opened the door by lying about something, okay? Any sin that you're doing, you're you're cracking that door open. You have given to Satan permission. You did it. You did it. It's not Satan's fault. You opened that door. Okay? What I'm trying to tell you is keep that door shut. Keep it shut. Hold it shut if you got to. Dead bolt it. Put the chain on it. Do whatever you got to do. Keep it shut. Keep it locked. Do not give Satan a chance to even come in for nothing. For nothing. Please. Okay? Because you, you know, you, you won't be possessed, but you've given him permission to come in and mess with you. And then, and then the Bible says this, if you, if the demon was gotten rid out of you, you know, if you got rid of the bad demon or something out of you, and then you go back and you open the door to it again, it'll come back and it'll bring more than what it had to begin with, with him. He'll bring some of his buddies Okay, he'll bring his friends, he'll bring his buddies with him. And then your time's going to be even worse, getting rid of them again. Please keep the door shut, okay? Only open it for Jesus Christ. Be still and know that he is God. Be, God says, be still and know that I am God, okay? Let's let's take that to heart. Let's do it. Um we have to walk on the straight and narrow path because I'm telling you this. This was a warning. This was a warning dream that the slippery slope is right there. And I mean, it was like covered. Okay. It was like covered. I couldn't even see it till I got right up on it. My foot was like hanging on the ledge. You understand? My, my tips of my toes was right there about to slide right down. I'm like, whoa, slippery slope. If I go down there, I can't get back up. Okay. So, oh boy, God is good. God is good. Okay, his dreams are awesome and his lessons and his messages are awesome. Let's take it to heart. Okay, let's love everybody. Okay, I love you all, but more importantly, God loves you. All right, so just have abundantly blessed day. Go to go to go to God today. Let him fill your cup of to overflowing. Only he can do it. You're not going to get your cup filled nowhere else. You won't get it filled up in the world. They're going to put a hole in your cup. You understand? All your oil's gonna fall down. It's all gonna drain all over the ground. Okay? They'll put a hole in your cup. Okay? So I love you. God bless. Goodbye.